Hello everyone and welcome to Little Nightmares to another theory video but this time it's actually about the hunter and not so much about the story. Even though the game has not released yet I, I already think I know what the hunter actually is or who he might actually be and I actually have three theories about it. One of them is not mine, well, well the two others are mine and so on. First we'll be looking at what equipment he has and what he is interested in and then we'll be looking at the theories. Now here's a hunt, here's the hunter, picture right there, so now you know how he looks. And here's here's a little fact about him. Let me read out loud what it says. The hunter seems to work alone stalking the wilderness with a rusty shotgun and a lantern style flashlight. His motives are unknown, but he does appear to have an interest in a taxidermy. Now, if you do not know what taxidermy is, then it's this right here. Let me show you. Now, here you actually see him stuffing a pig with all sorts of stuff. Like, now he's whipping out all the intestines and then putting stuff in. That's taxidermy. Let me show you another picture of it. Now, you definitely know what taxidermy is, okay? Now let's move on to the next part. Now the next part is the equipment. Now he carries the old rusty flashlight to light things up with, like looking for you and all that stuff. Works like the eye from the first game, where you have to hide behind stuff and all of that. But now it's more like the stones and you get shot instead of turning into stone. And you also see in the trailer Mono and Six hiding from something, most likely the hunter. And you probably get shot because we see him carry a shotgun instead of a rifle so it's actually close range so we got to be careful now now let's off, start off with the one that is not actually mine I saw this on the internet this is actually a picture from the first game I don't know where, actually where it is I saw it on reddit actually so, this may be, be a hint to that he actually was a worker on the mall, but soon just worked alone and moved away from the mall. And that's the first theory that isn't mine. Now, this is theory number two, the fairy man. Now, he's a character from the comic books, and why I think it's him is because he looks very much like the hunter. And he is actually the only character from the mall who can go into the city. And his job is to take children from the city and deliver them to the mall. And if you don't know what the mall is, it's an aquatic prison for children. Where you take place in the first game. So now when you know that and why I think it's him, let's move on. Alright, this last theory may sound really, really weird, but this is how it's gonna go. You see the sack over the hunter's head, yeah, he wears old clothes and all that, but he also wears a rope around his neck. It made me to actually think that he was actually a man who got hung, like killed by someone, but maybe because he actually committed a crime. That's why he has a sack over his head and a well around his neck because in old day you actually put sack over people's heads and a well around their neck when they were actually sentenced to death in old days you actually hung them in trees so that actually made me make me believe that he's actually a dead guy but I actually got awoken by the signal tower aka the broadcaster maybe so yeah you get where I'm going now he's an un he's a living dead among the dead now and that might also explain why he has like a 90 style flashlight and a rusty old shotgun. Now that's the last theory, really hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.